So question G, it's a rational equation, and we need to solve this for x. Now, we can get rid of the denominators by div multiplying by the 4 and the 3. And we can do this on both sides of the equation, so we're going to balance the equation. So I'm going to multiply by both 4 and by 3. And by doing that, when I multiply by 4, the 4 cancels, so I end up with 3 times x plus 1. Okay, so just to show where that 3 came from, that 3 is this 3 here. Sorry, I'm going to just make my shading a little bit so I can see through that. Okay, so this 3 here comes from this multiplier of 3 here. And then we go plus. The 4 times 3 times 1, nothing cancels, so I end up with 1 times 4 times 3. Okay, so again, I'm going to shade that. That 3 comes from that same 3. This 4 comes from this 4 here. And then I'm going to continue on. Equals, and I'm going to multiply through here, so I end up with 4. The 3, 3 cancel here, so I've got to divide, divide by 3. Okay, I've got to divide by 3 here and a times by 3 here. So what's left here is then a times by 2x plus 6. And now I've gotten rid of the divide. I can just solve this as a normal equation. So to do this, I need to, I'm just going to make sure I mark that here. That 4 is the same. I need to distribute this out. 9x plus 3 plus 1 times 4 times 3 is 12. I'm going to distribute that 4 into the brackets, so 8x plus 24. Combine like terms. If I subtract 8x from both sides, I'm just going to be left with 1x, which will then solve my equation. But I also have to get rid of the 15 with a minus 15, minus 15 on this side. So x on this side, so these cancel out. This becomes, that becomes the x. And then on this, on the right-hand side of the equation, these cancel out. And together that's going to be equal to 24 minus 15 is... 9. So the answer then is x equals 9. Okay, so this is the result of that. So the answer is